Welcome everyone to deploying Maestro on a Linux server. Um, I am using an Ubuntu 20.04 uh, server for this demo, um, but you can use all sorts of flavors of Linux, um, whether using Red Hat or CentOS or Ubuntu. Uh, we pretty much support any of the major flavors. Make sure you are either logged in as root or you use the sudo commands, of course, and make sure all your repos are up to date. In order for Maestro to work, or at least in order for us to browse to the web UI um, via our favorite browser, you will have to have Apache installed somewhere. And so we're just going to install everything on the same server. So in this uh, tutorial, we're going to install Maestro Central, which is kind of the brains of the operation, as well as the Maestro web UI um, so that you can get to it, the front end, right? Before we do any of that, we are actually going to install Apache. So as you can see, I already ran a sudo apt update to make sure my repos are up to date. And then we'll run sudo apt install Apache. Now, obviously, I am logged in as root, of course. Um, you know, do whatever your best practices tell you to do. Okay. So once we have Apache installed, we'll also want to make sure if you're running a firewall that ports 80 and 443 are open so that we can get to either HTTP or HTTPS, depending on what you want to use, then we can go ahead and check uh, the status of Apache. And it looks our, like our service is up and running, as you can see, active running. So we'll control C. And now we'll go ahead and we'll download our binaries. So I'm actually going to make a new uh, directory so that I can use that to download everything to keep it nice and organized, although it's not required. And then we'll use the wget command in order to download it. So here we are downloading the Maestro web application. I just copied and pasted that from the free trial. Um, you can get to the free trial by meninmice.com um, and then you should be emailed the, the binaries, the proper binaries, or it will actually just direct you to the actual landing page. Okay, so now we have the Maestro web UI downloaded and we'll go ahead and download Maestro Central while we're at it. And again, I'll just copy and paste that information and press enter. Okay, so now they're both downloaded. We can do that by running a, a directory command here and we can see that we have the zip files. So now we're gonna go ahead and unzip those doing xzvf with our tar command and we'll go ahead and start with central. And now we have central, so we'll run, we'll uh, go to that directory as well. You can see here and we'll change directory to maestro central. And now we can run the install. All right, installation complete. It's as easy as that. Okay, so now we'll run the web app install as well. We'll back out of this directory and we will run tar xzvf maestro web okay we have that and then we'll go into that directory and now we'll run the install command but we need this switch here it's actually required so web virtual um, host domain and then here we're going to call the server by name, by the fully qualified domain name, the FQDN. So I'm going to call mine web.maestro.com. Now you'll call yours, whatever your domain name is, um, with along with the server name, right? So once we have that established, we'll go ahead and press enter. Okay, and then make sure your ports are all open. 8111, 80, and 4603 are all open. Um, I'm not running a firewall on this machine, so I should be good to go. After we do this, we do need to restart the Apache service then. So I'm going to run service, Apache to restart. Okay. So this should be all that you need in order to get going. Um, 
I am going to show you a little work around those. So if you don't have a domain, maybe you're working in a lab environment and you don't have a domain that you're actually working with, uh, there is a way around this, right? We can't simply browse to an IP address since we've used that web virtual host domain switch. As you can see, I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, let me just quickly install these tools here. Okay, so now if I run an IF config, I can see what my IP address is. 172.22.127.104. So you can see Apache is working, right? But I just can't get to it. And that's because I am requiring that we use an FQDN. So the way we can actually get around this is by doing the old school um, making host file changes. So you can see I, I already have a trial run in here, but we'll go ahead and add this new IP address in here. It was 172.22.127.104. And we called it, if you'll remember, web.maestro.com. And then we have to remember to save that information as well. So let's see what happens now when I use a browser to go to web.maestro.com. And you can see Maestro opens up. And then if you're following along with the free trial, we'll go ahead and type in administrator, administrator, and now we can log in. And of course it warns me that I now need license keys. So let's go ahead and find those license keys. So of course, when I signed up for the free trial, I was sent license keys. So they should be in an email somewhere. And if you just go ahead and copy and paste that over, we can import those license keys. And now, as you can see, we have a fully functioning uh, version of Maestro. If I just refresh my browser here, we should see everything pop up and then we can go ahead and click on things and start adding things like IPAM information, DNS and DHCP information. If you're interested in doing any of that, please follow one of our other videos already available on YouTube. Thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you on the next demo.